Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of TBI Cluedo. How are we all doing? We're doing June's TBI Cluedo, holy shit. Let me just walk out. <laughs> this year feels, I mean every year feels like it's gone by in a blink of an eye, but this year, I just don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> the hat is back. I haven't worn the hat for the past couple episodes and I feel like I was just doing us all a disservice. So the hat is back and it's time to work out my TBR for June. Are we all excited? I am determined that this month's TBR Cluedo is going to be better than last month's because last month's just didn't have the vibe. It just, if you watched the video at the end, I was kind of disappointed. It just wasn't a selection of books I was excited to read. So today we're going to do better. Also, are you crooked? I can't tell. <laughs> I feel like I need a level to like work out. I'm so bad at working out if my camera is crooked. I think you're okay. That better? I don't know. So yeah, without further ado, I don't think I've got anything to tell you other than we're having good vibes for this TBI, I'm determined. Shall we just get into it? I haven't got anything else to say, so let's just get into the first roll. Okay, time for roll number one. Person number seven, which is brown over here in horror. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a three and a two. Okay, easy. I'm just gonna go one, two. And that is number 27, which is a book rated three stars on Goodreads. So roll number one was a horror that is rated three stars on Goodreads. This is any book that's three point something on Goodreads. And this book, it's categorized as historical, as horror, as sci-fi on Goodreads. I don't really know what his actual genre is, but we're going with it. And that is The Daughter of Dr. Moreau by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I don't know whether it's been shelved as horror just because Mexican Gothic was horror. I don't know if it actually is horror. <laughs> We're going with it because it's shelved as horror on Goodreads and I can't remember what the rating of this was but it is three point something. So here you go. I'll put it up on the screen. I am ridiculously excited to read this. I really loved Mexican Gothic when I read it quite recently and this one is following the daughter of Dr. Moreau which if you know me, you know one of my favourite books ever is The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter and in that we have Catherine Moreau who is like a creation of Dr. Moreau. So I'm really, 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 really excited. to read another book that kind of takes on this historical fictional figure that I didn't know much about before that book that I've loved so much. I loved Catherine. So yeah, I'm excited to see that with a new take. So I think this is very sciencey because obviously you've got the doctor, but I don't want to know too much about it. I'm kind of, look at the pink edges by the way. After enjoying Mexican Gothic so much, we don't need to talk about Velvet Was the Night because I didn't love that. But after loving Mexican Gothic so much, I am so excited to pick this up. I feel like Silvia Garcia is such an interesting author because all of her books do something different. She's constantly like crossing boundaries and like changing what genre she's writing in. And I love that. So I'm so excited for this. Roll number two. Person number one, which is green over there in fantasy. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a one and a two. Oh my God, can we get to anything? <laughs> okay, yeah, we can go one, two, three. And that is number 16. That is a book with four or more words in the title. Next role was a fantasy with four or more words in the title. And you guys are gonna absolutely, I can, I can feel the anticipation behind the screen. I can feel it. You're gonna cry. I am gonna be reading The Tea Dragon Festival by Kay O'Neill. <laughs> I am so excited to continue on this series. I think I'm probably gonna read this twice through when I read it. Like I just, I'm already so excited. No matter who you are, where you come from, if you've got a dream, there's no one out there that can stop you from achieving it. The vibe's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna light a candle, I'm gonna cozy up in bed, I'm gonna wear my favorite pajamas, and I'm gonna read this one night. And I'm so excited. <laughs> so if you don't know, this is a graphic novel series where we're following these tea dragons who brew tea with their leaves that they grow. And this is a prequel to the first book. The first one's The Tea Dragon Society. And this is a prequel, so we're following some of the characters that we met, the older characters in that book, when they're younger. And I am just, it's finally happening. <laughs> I've been putting off reading this series because like I say, I keep trying to save it for the perfect moment, but I need to just read it because guess what? I can reread it over and over again. It's just the most beautiful illustrations. Like it's all so cozy and wholesome and I just love it. I can't tell you how much I love it. So I'm so excited to continue. I don't know, I, I don't know how to contain my excitement, you guys. <laughs> I just want more fantasy like this, both in graphic novel and in novel format. Cozy fantasy. I know it's in at the moment, but it just fills me with such joy. I don't know how to explain it to you. It fills me with such joy and happiness and 
we're finally gonna be reading it guys i'm not putting it off any longer are you proud of me <laughs> Roll number three, let's see how many we roll. Person number seven, which is brown over here again. Let's see if we can get to the rose prompt. That would be good. Got a three and a two, no we can't. <laughs> let's just go one, two, three, and get number 30, which is the wild card. Oh my God, I love when I get the wild card. It makes me so happy. <laughs> roll number three was a wild card, which means I can read anything. <laughs> I can read anything that I want. I'm not constrained by genre. I'm not constrained by prompt. And the pick that I'm picking for this, because I have a, quite a few mysteries that I wanted to get to this month. And spoiler alert, we don't really get to any of them <laughs> in the rolls. So the one that I've chosen is The Floating Admiral by The Detection Club. So this I spoke about in a book haul lately. But this is a mystery book. As you can see, Agatha Christie writes in this. But it's by members of The Detection Club, which was a club of mystery authors in the 1930s. And this book, they each write a chapter of the mystery and it's just such a cool idea. I'm so excited. Maybe you can guess what I'm gonna be doing with this book. Let me get you a bit excited. Maybe you can guess. But yeah, I think it's such a cool idea. I think it could either be amazing or it could be shite because I don't know to what extent they like planned out plots with one another and like, I don't know, it's difficult to do well. I feel like it's kind of like a writing experiment more so than a book, if that makes sense. It's like a writing, when you're like practicing your writing, it's like a, I don't know, let's all write a chapter of this book and see how it turns out, Whoop, you know, rather than like an actual planned out novel. But I'm really, really excited. And it's gonna introduce me to more, um, you know, golden age of crime mystery authors because I really wanna read more. I really wanna get into Dorothy L. Sayers. I've never read anything but Dorothy L. Dorothy L. Sayers. Anthony Berkeley has a chapter in this who was the Winteringham mystery author. Was that, that was the video where I tried to solve the mystery, if you guys have seen that, where I had my crime board up there. <laughs> so I'm excited to read from him again, but I'm excited to read from all these authors and see what I think. Also, I think the cover is really cute. It's really cool. Anyways, I like the cover, the colors, the colors on the cover. <laughs> Rule number four. Person number five, which is white over here in non-fiction. Oh, let's see how many we roll. We've got a four and a three. Um, what can I get? Which one can I get to in that? <laughs> can I go one, two, three, four? There we go. That is number 10, which is a gifted book. Roll four was a non-fiction that was gifted to me. And for this, I am going with Unwell Women by Emma Cleghorn. This was gifted to me by my boyfriend's mum or grandma. I can't remember. I think I said this before. I think his mum picked it out, but it was from his grandma for Christmas one year. And I'd never heard of it. And since then, I've mentioned it so many times talking about how I want to read it. And I never have. And you guys have been waiting for me. It's finally happening. This is all about women and women and medicine and how medicine is very male dominated you know our understanding of medical conditions is male centric and women's health issues so like the menopause for example is still to this day misunderstood and underfunded in terms of our research into it but let alone throughout history so i am so excited to read this i've been waiting for ages you guys are probably like girl it only took you 10 years <laughs> I apologize, I apologize. I really want to be reading more nonfiction. You guys hear me say that all the time, but I have not read enough nonfiction this year so far. So I'm excited to get into more. I have heard mixed things about this. A few of you have read this and loved it. A few of you have read this and said it kind of didn't do it for me, but I'm excited to see what I think, finally. It's finally happening. You guys, we don't have to wait any longer. I'm so proud of me. Look at all these books that I'm not putting off any longer. Roll number five. Person number one, again, over here in fantasy. Let's see how many we roll. Got a one and a five. What can I get to in that? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That is number 24, which is a book over 400 pages. Oh my God. <laughs> Roll number five was a fantasy over 400 pages. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so we've got to read a long book. And so I decided to give this to my book club because if I've got to read a long book, they've got to read a long book. And the choices I gave them were Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sambri, A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross, The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah, and Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose Nevercott. And sometimes we have months where there's like two books that are battling out, like who's gonna win. That's happened quite a lot this year so far. If you don't know, sorry, I didn't say explain this to you if you haven't, if you're new. I give one round of TBR code to my page every month to vote on and that is our book club pick so yeah sometimes we have two that are like battling out to win this month we had a clear winner and that is a river enchanted by rebecca ross i'm gonna be honest i don't know too much about it people have been saying it's cozy fantasy when i've heard like people asking for more cozy fantasy recommendations this has been coming up a lot i think muse
music is a big part of the magic system in this. I'm pretty sure there's like an island where someone, people are isolated and people, like girls are going missing from this island. I'm not sure, but I'm excited because if it's cozy fantasy, I'm gonna eat it up. I'm gonna eat it up. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it up. I'm so excited. So yeah, I think it's also a good pick by them. It is another series. I'm starting another series, but like, whoop de do, you know, like, whatever. <laughs> I lost all hope today. I'm empty. I'm really trying to finish more series this month, this coming month. I'm gonna hopefully finish off two at least, which, you know, let's all be proud for small mercies. I will be reading this with my book club this month over on the Patreon, so if you want to come join us, the link is always down below. The start of the month is always the best time to join, so if you want to wait till the start of the month, that's always the best time to join, or join now, it doesn't matter. Like, you still got, we're still doing stuff over there. We've got reading sprints, early access to videos, there's a podcast, there's exclusive videos, there's all this stuff over there. So if you want to come join, link is down below. I'm super excited to read this with them. Okay, final roll. Person number seven again. Oh my God, <laughs> let's try and get the rose prompt this time. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a one and a five. Can we get there with that? One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We got the rose prompt. And then finally, we got the rose prompt, girlies. We got the rose prompt, which is another Patreon inspired prompt. When everyone joins my Patreon, no matter what tier you are, you get to pick two books off of my physical TBR that you would like me to read. They go into the pot. Let me get the pot. They go into this pot and then... I pick one out of here and I always get so nervous for this but you guys always pick pretty well so you know okay right I'm gonna try and reach in I've always got to be careful when I put it out oh no we've oh no man down <laughs> okay we might get one I've already read we might have to pick like five let's see okay no don't focus on me focus on the hands okay what is that what is that never more Oh shit! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all! Right, let's find it. Another series, guys. It's gonna be somewhere down here. Give me a second. Okay, two patrons chose this. We've got Vida and Jess Irons chose Nevermore. Oh my god. <laughs> We're reading The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I just wrote Nevermore because The Trials of Morgan Crow is a long title. And we're starting with a series. We're starting with a middle grade series, which I am notoriously the worst at finishing. Worse than at YA, worse than adult series. Like no, middle grade series, I always just read the first one and then never continue. <laughs> I'm so nervous. And I know this is a long series, but like it's still coming out. I know the next installment has just been pushed back a whole year. So like I'm never finishing this series. Anyways, I don't know too much about this. Morgan Crow is cursed, destined to die on her 11th birthday, but as the clock strikes midnight, she's wicked away. Oh yes, I remember. By a remarkable man to the secret city of Nevermore. Yes, magic society. Okay, I'm excited. But I, this is another series. So Jess and Vida, thanks. <laughs> But you know, a nice easy read, a nice comforting read. Again, this I guess this could be classed as cozy fantasy in some regards. I am excited. So many of you have tried to get me to read this for so long. So many of you are like, you're gonna love Nevermore, read Nevermore. So it's happening and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I know the series, the series stuff is not, it's not going the best this year guys. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. My goal, bear in mind, is just to have a net negative in terms of series. So just finish one more than I start. And I can't even do that, apparently. Anyways, let's go get the TBR. So this is, oh, I can't even hold it right. <laughs> this is our June TBR. And you know what? I feel like I've accomplished the goal of this TBR being more exciting to me than May's. Because this is, I'm really excited to read all of these, actually. I'm so excited. Even Nevermore has actually just got me, I'm actually really excited for it. So I'm hyped. I feel like we've got a good TBR here. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. I would love to know. Let me know which you're most excited to see me read because these will all be in vlogs in the next month or so. Some of them like, you know, sometimes I read the book in, in June and then the vlog comes out in July. But for the most part, this is all coming to in the next month or so. So let me know what you thought of any of these. If you got into the end of the video, comment a magical emoji. Any emoji that makes you think of magic down below for Nevermore. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay. And <laughs> I'll see you guys soon in another video.